Hello everybody, Ragtag V here, and welcome to the next episode. In this episode, we're going back to the jungle because we need to rank it up if we want to progress with the story. But anyway, it seems we got a request. Making a splash. Have you seen Quacksire jump into the lake? It would be great to, uh, practice to try photographing it at just the right moment. It's the only request that we've got, and I want to wait until we get another item before we go back to earlier levels to fill out some of those requests. And any time that I can see us uh, getting a break, we have to go through a stage multiple times to progress the story. So we're going back to Found Your Jungle to to take more pictures. Whoa, sorry about that. I was so deep in fault I didn't even notice you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is the island with all the trees. Tough to get good shots when the leaves are in the way. What he says there is actually true. Uh, any fauna that is in your photo, if it blocks the Pokemon, that will actually impact your score. So keep that in mind when taking photos. If there's any leaves or anything that's blocking a Pokemon, it will impact the score. Thank you, Todd. Todd, I love your words of encouragement. Let's look around for any Pokemon. Also, scanning can also... I forget, failed to notice, but scanning can help you find certain Pokemon. Like this, like this Metapod here. Which I bet if I took that photo of that Metapod last episode, I wouldn't have gotten I would have got enough points for a rank up. View to fly in your face. And the picky pecks fly. Thank you. I do my best to try and get good shots. That's a decent beauty fly. Look at them all fly around. Oh, oh right. Arbo Arbox here. That's going to be a horrible Arbox photo, but at least that should be a two star. Come on, eight bomb. Come on, eat. Don't run away. Ah, could have gotten a two star eight bomb photo if it ate. But no, because my car got too close, it ran away. That is something you will have to keep in mind. If your car does get too close to a Pokemon, regardless what action they are doing, they will automatically run away. So if you're trying to lure Pokemon somewhere or uh, trying to perform some kind of action, which I forgot there was free bonds we could have taken a photo of. Uh, if you're trying to lure Pokemon somewhere or... Um, trying to get them to eat apples or whatever if you get too close to them they may run away from you you regardless of the action they are doing sleeping leopard You're going to be too close to eat, aren't you? Oh, nope. That may have counted as a... Ooh. I think Beautyfly spinning there is a, is a, is a uh, either a two or three. Nope, I'm getting too close to you. You're not going to eat. Ooh, Quacksire! 
just remembered the request. I hope one of those two photos counted. I forgot, is there a Pokemon hiding here? No, I'm thinking of level two, there's something hiding over there. Ooh, spinning beautifully. Picture that light bar. And time to teleport on back to the lab. The adventure's not done until you get back. Oh, you're back. You look hungry. Take you look hungry to take more photos. My picky pack. Ooh, that's a two. That's a free star picky pack. That is a free. I want to submit a two or a one, but I don't think I've ever got this free star picky pack. All right, I'll pick that. I kind of like the photo, it's like, ugh, what a bad day. Two star Metapod. Okay, so Beautifly spinning is not, uh, it's just a one star, so. Bopping it with an apple. Oh, I didn't get the two star slacking. Okay, it's about to eat. Uh, that's decent. That also looks good, but I think I'm gonna go with this one. Yes! I got it! Got the request, Todd. And that is also a four-star photo. Good thing I remembered and turned around in Quaxire's general direction. Alright, let's have a look. Alright, let's see how this photo does, because I don't think I've ever took in this particular free star picky pack. Brings a smile to my face. Now you don't see this every day. Nice work. Keep it up. Ah, oh, it's not better. I should have gone with a two or one star. At least I would have put them in my photo decks. Next, we got a palm. It brings a smile to my face. It must be in a hurry. This is going to be a bad photo because of direction. Yep, a silver. A new discovery. Metapod. Next is Metapod. This is the first time you got in as your subject. Perfect timing. Looks like it's been bopped by something. Perfect timing. You did wonderfully. Gold Metapod. Mm. Next is Beautifly. It's a two-star photo. That's new. Perfect. Look, looks like it's been bought by something. Fantastic, you captured exactly at the right moment. Interesting backgrounds. Makes your shots even handier for our research. I'm surprised that's a crystal. Since I didn't have a uh, beauty fly facing me. Next we've got a slacking. It's a one star photo. That's new. It seems calm. Nice work. Keep it up. Silver. Mm. Next is Arbok. This is probably going to be a bronze. Because nice Arbok is barely in the shot. Yep, it's a bronze. Next we got Bond Suite. It brings a, it brings a smile to my face. Nice Seems calm. Nice going. This isn't a bad shot at all. Your placement's looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. 
Light burp. Nice work. It looks curious. I wonder what about I wonder. Nice work. Keep it up. Your placement's looking good. Centering your subject balances the photo well. Next is Quacksire, a four-star photo. Probably gonna do bad because Quacksire isn't centered, but let's see how it goes. Great timing. Ah, I see, what fascinating behavior. Yes, it jumping is fascinating. Good work. This is no easy shot to get. Gold, I can accept gold. Nice work. Seems calm, nice work, keep it up. Wow, that's a better Magikarp photo. Let's level up. Look at that! You've hit a new stage in your research. Keep an eye out for changes no matter how small. But you get we've registered seven bug types in our photo decks. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Let's see what the professor has to say. Looks like you're finding your feet eat on the new island. No. It's about time I gave you your next task. What? What? Oh, what is it? What is it? I'd like you to visit the jungle during the night and photograph a crystal bloom glowing in the dark. Huh? What's a crystal bloom? Oh, um... It's a type of flower that gives off light. Do you remember seeing any odd flowers out there? Yeah. Oh yeah, I did. Red ones. That's probably the type we're after. If you see one lit up at night, it's in what we call the luminous state. Do we need to do anything special if we find one? Not particularly, just snap a photo of it. Your camera can analyze it for you. Thanks. That should be all you need to know for now. Enjoy the nighttime jungle. So, in the next episode, we're going to check out the jungle at night to look for a glowing flower. If you enjoyed this, do subscribe, like the video, and ring that bell so you'll be notified when I upload. And I'll see you next time when we go to the jungle at night. Later.